6 a.m. Looks like the start of a cozy reading day. Happy Dewey's 24 hour readathon. Do you think you're being helpful? Hi, you're just helping everybody this morning. Such a good boy. Did you know Boo Baby's helping you play? What's she doing? Aww, <laughs> baby. Boo. My gosh, guy, you just helpful all over the place today. <laughs> hey guys, it's almost two o'clock and I'm just now checking in because I've been reading. I've been reading so much. Yay, and getting lots of other stuff done besides. So this is a very productive Dewey's. 24 hour readathon and a very blustery one as well. Oh my gosh. Can you see the leaves, the trees? Oh my goodness. I hope you saw them. I couldn't tell. Anyway, what am I reading? I just finished just like 10 minutes ago. Crossroads of Twilight by Robert Jordan. Yay. This is number 10 in the Wheel of Time series and I probably don't need to tell you anything else because, you know, you know, high fantasy world adult, but not adult, you know what I mean? Anyway, I have, I think like right around a hundred-ish pages left in Light in August by William Faulkner. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I am going to do it. And... There was finally a revelation that really made it connect for me. The light came on, if you will. I get it now. I do. Um, the 13th Tale by Diane Sutterfield. Finally getting to this. Really enjoying it. I'm reading this with um, Lindsay from Lindsay Reads. And she is online today. So we're kind of reading it together today, which is really fun. I am almost done with Voices of Time, A Life in Stories by Eduardo Galeano. This is the um, kind of flash fiction short stories that I am loving so much. Maybe I'll find another one to share with you today. And then, oh, I don't have it with me, the Sarah Hall. I'll show it to you when I finish because it's tiny and I will finish today. I'm reading a Sarah Hall short story, Mrs. Fox. Um, it's one of those favor and favor that Sean and I do together. And oh, I'm reading A Light in August with Greg. So hopefully Greg's working on it this weekend and we can finish together. And Kate Howe and I are reading this one. It's just Buddy Reed Central here. And then <laughs> Duck's Newberry Report by Lucy Elman. I'm reading with Heidi from My Reading Life and Will, and we are just, look at that, powering through this beast and really, really enjoying it, really. So, no time to hang out. I got it, I gotta get back to it. My goal is 12 hours today, and I think I'm halfway there already, so. That is so exciting. Let me go show you my bullet journal and then I will get back to reading. I mean, woo. Winds are blowing today. Hey, hey, I finished my second book of the day. I can't talk about that one because I made my video with Sean. That's our favorite series videos. And let's see. I read from 2 to 2.15. Yeah. I don't even know if you saw that, but <laughs> here's my to-do list for the day. And I've been getting stuff done. These are my goals to read 12 hours, to finish five books, and to read over 600 pages. 
lofty, but these are my hours I've read thus far and I color coded them with my books. I'm checking off as I get increments done in my books. Um, like Ducks Neighbor Report, each box is 32 pages. And I started on page 640 of that book today. Uh, Voices of Time, I started on 230. So that way at the end of the day, I can look in the book and see how many pages I read. So yeah, let's see. Uh, that's one and a half, two and a half, three, four, five, six and a half, six and a half hours so far. Doing good. I was sitting there, guy. I only got up to make my video. Oh my goodness. Not in there. <gasps> Boo baby! This my baby? You take a nap on Gabriel's bed? <laughs> so cute. Guess I'll sit on the couch then. Good day for a nap. Staying inside, isn't it, guy? Whoo, wait. What's that? I don't think you want to come out here, boo. Okay, here we go. The world market. Trees, the color of cinnamon, fruit of gold. Mahogany hands wrap white seeds inside large green leaves. The seeds ferment in the sun. Later unwrapped and in the open, the sun dries them and slowly paints them copper. Then cocoa begins its voyage across the blue sea. Between the hands that grow it and the mouths that eat it, cocoa is processed in factories owned by Cadbury, Mars, Nestle, or Hershey, and is sold in the supermarkets of the world. For every dollar in the cash register, three and a half cents go to the villages from which cocoa comes. A journalist from Toronto, Richard Swift, was in one of those villages in the mountains of Ghana. He visited the plantations. When he sat down to rest, he pulled a few chocolate bars from his pack. Before he could take a bite, he was surrounded by curious children. Here was something they had never tasted. They loved it. Okay, here's a funny one. The dead woman who worked miracles. Living is a fatal habit. Nobody gets around that. Even Doña Asuncion Gutierrez died after a long century of life. Relatives and neighbors held the wake at her home in Managua. The wailing had long since died down and tears had given way to drinks and laughter when at the height of the evening, Doña Asuncion sat up in the casket. Get me out of here, you idiot, she ordered. Then she tucked into a tamale without so much as a nod to anyone. The mourners slipped silently out. Stories no longer had anyone to tell them. Cards had no one to play them. The drinks had lost their pretext. A wake without a body just won't do. Everyone disappeared up the dirt streets, uncertain what to do with what remained of the night. One of the great-grandchildren grumbled. This is the third time the old bag does this to us. <laughs> What's you reading, Debbie? The book, hey. What page are you on? 50. Is it any good? It's okay. <laughs> you trying to start something, Boo? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Is she okay? I don't think so. She's like losing her mind. What are you doing, boo?
funny when he runs like that. <laughs> Get that fly, boo. Get it. Goodness, boo, baby. <laughs> you got an addiction. Nine o'clock and I finished book number three. Yay! I really, really have enjoyed reading this one. It's upside down. <laughs> I'm kind of gonna miss having it around. Um, I've had it around all month and I've been enjoying it. But, thank goodness that I ordered two more for a book outlet. They should be in this week, so. There you go. So I've got 11 hours in, which is like really awesome. However, only three books accomplished and not a late night owl. So we'll see, we'll see. I kind of think that five books finished is a lofty goal because I have like a hundred pages left in the other two. Hmm, let's see what I can do, let's see. I got up a little earlier than I expected, so maybe I can squeeze in one more book. Oh my goodness, you guys. I didn't know this book was going to make me cry. Why didn't any of you tell me? Oh, wow. He goes always ready to help, isn't he? You gonna help, guy? <laughs> so I got 12 and a half hours. Yeah. I only got three books read, but I finished the fourth. First thing this morning, I just missed it by half an hour. So that wasn't bad. And I read 602 pages. So I loved how this layout worked. It was awesome. And I finished Light in August by William Faulkner. Spoiler alert, this one did not make me cry. <laughs> um, yeah, but it has been such a productive Dewey's 24-hour readathon, even though this is the day after. Super productive weekend. Uh, I finished that, and then we went to the gym. I went by... Ouch. <laughs> Something broke. Um, we went by Target, and I got felt pads for the chairs, for the gaming chairs, so we don't damage our hardwoods while we're gaming. I got treasure box treats. Love these. Anyway, I better go see what the damage is. Thanks so much for watching. I'll be back soon. Bye!